I'm going to be sharing. Uh, as I get ready for the Mod Shop, which is an indie market they have here this Saturday after Thanksgiving, which gives me three weeks to get ready, uh, what I've decided to do for Mod Shop, since I really feel like I haven't prepared a big thought out process, I decided I'm going to use this indie market to test out and to use up some of the supplies that I have had stored away here for five or six years now. So uh, let me share with you my stash and I will share with you what I am planning to do with some of those things and where I'm still not undecided, I'm still undecided. Uh, I'll, let, me, let me share with you more at the end, but go ahead, let's go ahead and get started. It's a lot of glazing this week and uh, preparing with my uh, the things that I need in order to use it for. three feet across doo -doo 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 -doo, and then there's two feet here on the four foot table so then I have this extension that goes out if I have a corner it'll be great if I don't then I'm just gonna have a little area to you know wrap things up in paper and whatnot but this is my favorite little guy here do 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 I put that on a lazy Susan it's not even right now but I will it'll be that day I was just testing it out to see if it'll work but kind of excited about that. And this I got at Target clearance. Somebody was throwing it away. But this is what I'm going to hang my, um, my little pendants on. I don't usually make pendants, so I didn't have anything to hang them on. But and I think I can actually clip a little sign of some a little signage here too. But there's the setup so far. Okay, I went to Vistaprint and ordered these a couple days ago. And this right here is a one foot by seven inch by three foot banner. I also got some small labels that I could put on. Um, I like to wrap things in tissue and make it look pretty. And I thought it would be a good idea if I did it here with um, with these labels. But anyway, I went to Vista vistaprint.com and got these. I don't order my business cards through here anymore. Um, I go to MOO Moo because my let me see if I can pull out a business card out of my wallet really quick. Uh, dun, dun, dun. Okay, and this is actually my business card. Let's see if I can get a better picture of it. Oh, it's so weird in my house here. Anyway, there's my business card, the front. 
And then here is the back of my business card that has uh, all my information on it, where you can find me. And it also has that little, and it works too. It's just pretty cool. It's kind of tiny, but um, that little QRC works there as well. This is all the bisque ware that I had sitting on my shelf that I need to actually glaze. I cannot wait to do it and uh, see what I get from it. These, now, some things I may not, like those little fishies. I don't know. I think they just may end up back on my shelf. I need to finish these. Do, 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 do. And I'm trying to make a cow cup. And look at it just kind of all blurred and it didn't work out. Didn't work out. But anyway, it's coming. Nicole's friend, your your cow cup is coming eventually. <laughs> I'm going to actually put glass in the, maybe, maybe not. Ugh, I still haven't decided. I have all those little pieces of glass that I wanted to put in things. This definitely, because this is not going to be used for food. This will be used for uh, a ring dish or any little knick-knacky thing that people may want. The larger they get, the more I'm food safe conscious. So I found some interesting pots, like this little pot. I love it. It is so cute, especially the textured rim. Got to figure out what to do with that. Have some artsy pieces. Have this sculpture that I haven't glazed yet. And here are the, the glass that I've sorted out. Now doing some wash glazing. Uh, going to uh, wax the bottoms and then clear glaze. And then drop some glass beads in there, which you just see right over here. watching we will see you next week with some clay work and some kiln openings and some whatever else seems to happen in my hobby potter week but thanks for watching see you next time